Hello friends. Yes, up there you see a water stain on my ceiling. I'm sitting on the bed, of course. A lot of I do a lot of videos here. It's comfortable for me. Uh, the water stain is not recent. That's from when I first got my truck about a year ago. And uh, when I was putting do the framing for the truck, a screw went through too far and it went through the roof. And uh, of course, it's been sealed since then, but I need to eventually put a new ceiling up here. But for now, I can do that. I don't have the energy or the materials for now. You know, I love to do construction, but the ceiling stuff is hard for me, very hard on my neck. So, but um, I'll eventually get it around to that. It's one step at a time. <laughs> so, um, I have moved from the Belmont area, just below Flagstaff. Um, there was really bad dust and dirt. It was filthy there. It's a nice area, but it's really dirty. And uh, people were driving so fast, they were kicking up the dust and dirt so bad, I couldn't hardly breathe, and the elevation was higher, and it was really hard on me. There's, It's not much lower here in the Williams area, but it's a little better. And I noticed I was able to take a good walk today, about a mile round trip. And so I did a little bit of video of my little walk. And I did a, tried to do a driving video from driving from Belmont to over to here. But, of course, my windshield was so bug splatted <laughs> uh, that it didn't didn't come out very good. I probably put a couple minutes of a clip, clip on there just to show you my little first attempt at driving videos. So, um, I, I might have tried to do one before, but it was really bad. So, anyhow, so I have my stickers coming. I'm driving to Parker next week to get my mail, which is 250 miles each way. I have a few packages and mail to pick up so I can get, a, get my stickers. If you would like one of my stickers, please send me an email with your mailing address and just say stickers please or something uh, with your address. And you can find my email address in my about page on my main channel. So please go ahead and get that and send me a request and I'd be happy to send you a sticker. I would love to have one of your stickers too. Uh, but you uh, you just have to let me, just you don't have to do anything to get one of mine. Um, so okay, so that's the plan for the next week. I know I haven't put out much video content this week. I've been very busy going back and forth, and I wasn't feeling really well. So I'll be here Sunday on my live stream. I'm going to do a question um, from about something in one, the video that I did, was it which, which was the live stream that's called Memories. And I'm going to ask a question, and the first person that answers the question correctly will win a $5 Amazon e-gift card. So, um, hopefully you go back and look at that video and kind of be prepared for whatever question I might ask. And we're going to have some fun. I'm going to do something a little different that I've been doing. And, you know, I usually share a topic. I'm not sure what it will be about, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. And um, anyhow, I'm looking forward to see seeing you all Sunday. I try to go through and watch all my subscribers as many as I can, their videos, if they are content providers. And if you comment in one of my videos, and I will certainly go and check out your videos and comment on yours. So I do appreciate that. I don't um, just go and subscribe to people. I check out their content. So that's the way I do it. Um, I want to give a special shout out to somebody that has really supported me amazingly, who is Nomadic Hippie. Rick is wonderful. He does great videos about the Metropolis, all of it, the Superman stuff, 
and he's so, so much fun. He has a cute, really, really cute cat, and um, he's really friended me, and I appreciate his friendship. I've made so many friends since I've been on my journey in the last five years, and especially in the last seven or eight months. Blue Wave Odyssey has become, Bob has become a very dear friend. MJ and Mike from Mike and MJ RV Adventure. Um, um, Roy and Becky from Roy and Becky's Travels. Those are people are very good friends and Van, Vanessa from Bands and Bannon Travels. So I want to give them a special shout out because, you know, if you can't shout out your friends, who can you shout out? I'm sure there's some great channels out there. There's a lot of them. And I've done a lot of shout outs, but I would to especially say, please go check my friends out. Uh, Blue Wave Odyssey, Nomadic Hippie, Roy and Becky's Travels, Mike and MJ RV Adventure, Van Vanessa Vans Van and Travels. So check them out. They're put out really good content. So anyhow. Okay, so I'm gonna share a few clips of what my little travels from Belmont to here and a little bit of the pictures of the little area that I'm in. It's really nice nice campground. The weather's been great. And the wind and dust have not been real bad. I haven't really got out. There's a couple little lakes around here. I'm going to plan on going to get some video of that stuff. But I just couldn't do it. Today, I was really busy. And, of course, MJ and Mike invited all of us over to their camp. Um, excuse me. To their camp and then she made homemade chimichangas so i made some homemade oatmeal cookies to take that's pretty much all i could come up with anyhow i'm having a good time with my friends and i don't mean to neglect anybody i have not spent as much time on live streams but i have gone and checked them out said hello and let them run so that i you know that i am supporting you so, okay, so enjoy the rest of my video. Uh, I'll share a little few clips, and please like, share, and subscribe.
settled down. The train depot right there. This is where we're staying now. Really nice area, a lot of beautiful trees. I have plenty of sun for my solar. It's gorgeous here. There's a nice little cool breeze today. That's where MJ and Mike are. video of the area to see how it goes so that's how close we are to the road but not getting the dust that we got in Belmont it was pretty bad I was so winded all the time I couldn't breathe my allergies the elevation is not that much lower here about maybe six or I don't know, five or six hundred feet lower, but seems to make a difference. Looks like here they had burned out a tree or something. I don't know. Strange, very strange. Tree, probably a dead tree, and they had to burn it for safety reasons. I thought I'd take a good walk and get some exercise today. So here we go. Look at the little flowers everywhere. Little white flowers. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty little white flowers right there. It's a lot of little campers camps in here. New trees. <sighs> Can't see the mountains from here, but you can see them on this side. So we really are pretty much surrounded by the mountains, but you can't see them all. <sighs> yeah, the There are a lot of them through here. I can't figure out how to do this. Um, let's see. So that's. So that'll kind of stabilize I don't know I'm trying to figure out all the buttons on this I've not got it figured out at all These trees are beautiful. 
I so appreciate the shade and the cool up here compared to down there in Quartzsite. The scenery, scenery is gorgeous. Lots of camping area. You can see people camping back in the little... There's a, <coughs> a lake up the road away, so I don't know how far. I don't know if I can walk that far. And I doubt it. I will have to get in my I'm sure how to Nice little place to sit down to take a break right here. There's a lot of dead wood here in the forest and unfortunately we can't have campfires right now because of the fire hazards. So, but it would be nice. I keep waiting to see some animals. I haven't seen any yet. A year ago, I couldn't have walked 50 feet, so I'm kind of a long ways. Right now, I've walked about a mile up and back. It's pretty good. I feel good, but I'm winded.